I good evening, kingdom men and kingdom women. I truly hope you guys are having a blessed day. Every day that you wake up, man, it is truly a blessing. What I want to speak on today is going to come from Matthew 16, and I'm going to start at verse 1, and uh, we're going to let it ride from there. Uh, so what it's going to be talking about is this is Jesus uh, telling his disciples to beware of the Sadducees and the Pharisees doctrine. All right, so I am just going to uh, let this play. The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempting desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. He answered and said unto them, When it is evening ye say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the signs of the times? Mm. A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. And he left them and departed. And when his disciples were come. Alright, now that's Jesus talking to the Pharisees, giving them, he always be giving them uh, straight shots and be straight slicing. You know, he always, whenever he leave the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they be hot. They be ready to kill him, be ready to stone him, you know, because he's he telling them the truth and it always cut straight to their heart. Always cut always cut straight to their heart. But I uh, this is uh under the other side. They had forgotten to take bread. Then Jesus said unto them, Take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. And they reasoned among themselves, saying, It is because we have taken no bread. Which when Jesus perceived, he said unto them. Now, that's them. They didn't forgot to take bread. So now they tripping. You know, man, we didn't forgot to take bread. You know, and then they re they tripping. So God about to talk to them now. All right, let's, let's let them. O oh, ye of little faith, why reason ye among yourselves? Because ye have brought no bread? Do ye not yet understand? Neither remember the five loaves of the five thousand, and how many baskets ye took up? Neither the seven loaves of the four thousand, and how many baskets ye took up? How is it that ye do not understand that I spake it not to you concerning bread? That ye should beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees? Then understood they how that he bade them not beware of the leaven of bread, but of the doctrine of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi. Alright. So. That's. Uh, that's the point of what I was. What I wanted to get to today. Is beware. Of the leaven. Beware of their doctrine. You know. And the Sadducees and the Pharisees. You know. Uh, they were. Just evil men who were stuck in tradition, stuck in being in the high places, stuck in greed, stuck in wanting your money. You know, they wanted money. They wanted power. You know, they didn't want Christ. And today, the Sadducees and Pharisees, to me, you know, and uh, you, can, you, 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 you can tell me if I'm wrong, it's pastors. It's wicked pastors because we have some awesome men of God out here. We got men of God that are pastors that are awesome, that are kingdom men, you know. But there is a lot of them out there that are false teachers, you know. And all they care about is lying in their pockets. All they care about is butts in the seats. Butts in the seats, what does that mean? What that means... Uh, wealth that means money that's tithes and offerings you know what I'm saying uh, you see some people uh, they out they, they be more worried about who's sitting in the seats instead of trying to truly preach this gospel because this gospel is going is gonna offend people this word of God is gonna is gonna prick your heart to make you do two things either you gonna get mad or are you going to change? You're going to be like, God is right. And you're going to change. 
the other one is you're going to get mad at this word and you ain't coming back if that preacher is preaching it or you're going to try to go find a preacher that's going to preach what you want and that and you're not going to get salvation you know when you have a repentant heart you repent to salvation to everlasting life you know god is not trying to it's it's not trying to make you uh it's not it's not trying to be mean it's not trying to take away from you it's trying to give you it's trying to give you life you know and um that's the whole point of what i'm saying today man is you have to be aware you have to be aware of false teachers you know um and that's why truly 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 having a grip on i don't got my bible right here around is having that word of god you need the word of god that is how you see who the devil is that's how you see who god is is by reading it for yourself you have to read it for yourself as well but that is what i wanted to say today was beware of false pastors beware of the sadducees and the pharisees doctrine you know uh beware and like i'm gonna always tell y'all you know uh jesus is king y'all have a blessed and beautiful day yeah